Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Snowflake's live streaming. We are live from Las Vegas at Snowflake's Summit 2022. My name is Shi Gu. I'm going to be your host uh, today. And with me, I have Thomas Somatik from Tier 2 Every. Uh, so Thomas, well, tell us a little bit about what you do and what Tier 2 Every, Tier 2 Every does. Uh, yeah, introduce yourself a little bit. Okay, hello. First of all, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. And my name is Tomasz Subocik. I am a lead data engineer and architect in a company called Tieto Every. Uh, Tieto Every is the Finnish company providing the IT services mainly in the Nordics market in Europe. And obviously I'm part of the data and AI unit and we are building uh, data solutions on top of the modern data solutions like Snowflake is. But of course we have also the clients who are still using the traditional tools uh, and technologies. Awesome. Well, I know Tutor is literally in, in every industry. And since you're the lead data engineer there, can you maybe talk us a little bit about a few exciting use cases or projects you've been working on? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Tier 2 Ever is providing all different kind of IT services, starting from infrastructure up to uh, consulting. And my team, uh, I can mention a couple of uh, use cases on top of the Snowflake, which we have done so far. Uh, so two of them have been done for one of the major telco provider in, in Nordics. And uh, one is the typical data warehouse. We have been building a uh, customer data warehouse. Uh, and another one was a modern data application, again, on top of the Snowflake. Uh, uh, it's meant for uh, business users of that telco providers, they can go in that data application and inspect their data. They, they uh, see the visualizations and dashboards about their uh, financial data and uh, mobile usage data. So that they can go through them or they can download them uh, to their local machines uh, and do some analysis on their own, mainly in Excel. Yeah, from a data engineering perspective or from the platform perspective, uh, I'm wondering what kind of uh, key challenges you were seeing before and now it's being solved or it's much better with Snowflake now. Yeah, so, so one of the biggest challenges uh, at the beginning when we started with that uh, data warehouse was compliance and GDPR uh, because the client had the old solution which wasn't the GDPR compliant and it was uh, built uh, on-prem. So they decided to move on and start building a new one which will be GDPR compliant and which will be modern. Uh, so uh, they decided to go into the cloud. And uh, the, the first uh, challenge for us was to select the right technology stack because uh, we had uh, no experience with the cloud-based technologies at the time. So we did a lot of small POCs uh, try this and that, and finally we ended up with Snowflake. Uh, can, we, can you walk us through some of like the key benefits you've been seeing with Snowflake? Uh, what are the, the most impactful uh, things Snowflake were able to do for, for your company and for your customers? Yeah. So for me personally, at the beginning, uh, one of the biggest benefit and like wow effect for me was the scalability and the speed because yeah i just hit some query and, and suddenly I, I i could see okay the, the virtual warehouse is already running and I, I had experience with the spark clusters and i know that uh, with the spark it, it takes tens of seconds or even minute before the, the cluster is up and suddenly with the snowflake I, I saw okay it's it's instantaneous so that was the first wow effect for me and then it was uh, another cool features like zero copy cloning so we can like quickly build the development and testing environment and just have some cost saving because we have still single copy of the data uh, data sharing uh, and much more <laughs> so it sounds like scalability was one main uh, key benefit you've seen and you can yeah. spin up and spin down the clusters like in a second and like it's all Service, uh, managed services for you, unlike some other you know, solutions where you have to spend a lot of energy to manage the, and maintain the infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and another one was also the simplicity because we have never worked with Snowflake and it was quite easy to start uh, and to understand the, the platform, the, the architecture, uh, and also the 
compute and storage, uh, they, they are separated. So that, that was another great benefit for us. Yeah, simplicity. We all we all love that. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna switch gear a little bit because uh, we are. It's Tuesday here, and you're just here from our uh, main keynotes in the morning, and we made a bunch of really exciting announcements. I want to hear your perspective on you know what are you excited for? Uh, what some uh, interesting uh, new announcements that you're most excited about? Okay. Uh, yeah, the keynote was awesome. Th uh, there was so many new announcements and features which are coming to Data Cloud. So, uh, just to name uh, some of them, uh, Snow Park for uh, for Python. Uh, we have been waiting for that, so I'm really looking forward to get some hands on with that and, and try it. Uh, another one, uh, uh, yeah, data replication. So now now we will have also the account level replication. So that, that is really cool. Uh, Apache iceberg uh, tables, uh, materialized tables. Uh, th th there was some announcement in relation to data governance. I think there will be some uh, masking policy together with tags. So that is some, something what I am also looking forward to because we, we are starting to use tags, tags quite recently. So it will be good to like try to match it with uh, masking policy if we can leverage some new benefits from that. Well, you're a global company, so it sounds like uh, definitely a lot of governance heavy, you know, uh, compliance things to come to use for your solutions. And then replication, you mentioned there were account level data replication. We're also announcing some uh, pipeline replication yeah. capabilities there, which will be huge for data engineering, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah, that, that was another cool yeah, announcement, thanks. Yeah, uh, I'm really, uh, really looking forward to see how it will be working because it, it looks nice uh, on the screen, uh, but let's see it in practical life. <laughs> yeah, well, they're all live demos, so I hope you enjoy them. And then yeah. for sure, when it's come to private preview and public preview, uh, well, our customers will be able to try them out themselves immediately. Um, and. You've been a, a data superhero with Snowflake for almost, almost two years, I, yeah, I two guess. Two years. Uh, yeah, interesting question. Like for personal experiences, what drove you to become a data superhero? Uh, how have you enjoyed? Have you how have you been enjoying it? Uh, yeah, it's it's really great to be a part of data uh, data superheroes community for me. Uh, because I, I have a chance to work with other great uh, colleagues who are part of the community. Uh, there is uh, so many opportunities to learn and grow and see what they are doing and how they are solving different uh, issues. Uh, and uh, how I started, yeah, it, it was more than two years ago when we started with Snowflake. I, I thought it, uh, it is the cool technology and I always want to share the knowledge with others. So I started uh, doing different kind of meetups uh, about the Snowflake and about the solutions and architectures which we have been working on. I started to write a blog post about it and it, it was just a natural journey for me that uh, more and more blog posts I, I wrote, uh, it got to the more attention also from your community team and I was like selected to be a part of uh, data superheroes community. That's awesome. You must be. You must have some data superpower uh, with you. <laughs> um, so we are only at day two at Summit, uh, but we have over ten tracks and two hundred, uh, three hundred something different sessions. Uh, anything you've attended to that you find really interesting, or any other sessions in the future you're really looking forward to attend? Yeah, for me personally, I am a data engineer, so I am trying to. Uh, find the sessions which are related to the data engineering or architecture. Uh, this morning I attended the session which was about the Terraform and best practices for Terraform. So that's something for the automation and uh, it was really great. So I'm looking forward to try some of those concepts mentioned there. Uh, we are also starting with the streaming. So I am looking forward to see some sessions which will be about the streaming possibilities uh, snow pipes, Kafka connectors, and this kind of stuff. 
Well, that's awesome. We have the What's New sessions tomorrow morning uh, just for Snowpipe streaming on the, on the Kafka connector, all about the new uh, announcements we just made and materialized tables as well. So be sure you attend those sessions and I'd love to let the audience know if you're here, uh, join us for those sessions as well. Uh, I think we are at the close to the end of our interview and well, thank you so much, Thomas, joining us and doing the interview here. Yeah, thank you for having me. It was really a pleasure to talk to you. Yeah, and thank you everyone for joining us for the live streaming.